Could you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a lovely day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in this neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Greetings, today is March 20th, which is, ironically, the birth date of one Fred McFeely Rogers. So if you have your favorite cardigan sweater out, well, today whip it out, because the greatest of entertainers on public television, Fred McFeely Rogers, born today in 1928, of course, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, one of the major things for the Corporation of Public Broadcasting, and, well, one of the things that put PBS on the map. So today we had an interesting cue of the day, all about you, neighbor, and your neighborhoods. We'd ask you on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Q103Hawaii, tell us a little bit about yourself and the neighborhood that you're in. And we learned a lot of things about some neighborhoods today. Uh, before we get into the uh, last break, I kind of had one of those Mr. Rogers moments today with my father on my Facebook page. So I thought I would tell you, parents, and you kids, something that happens in life. Every so often, things get too big for the places that we put them. Mr. Rogers, of course, famously had a pet goldfish on the show. And eh, if you noticed, over time, the goldfish did not live for 40-something years. It was a different goldfish. Goldfish, unfortunately, die. But goldfish also do something else that is uh, kind of a lot like kids do. My dad asked me today, you know, hey, I didn't know that growing up meant that everybody moved away from home, but it's kind of like the goldfish on Mr. Rogers' show. You see, a goldfish can grow so big that the bowl that it's in will not fit it anymore, and the fish will be sad and unhappy. So it has to move up to a bigger, bigger pond or tank. And that's exactly what I did. I moved from the small little tank that I was born into, the little aquarium, into the bigger tank of the outside world. Well, just like goldfish, kids are just the same. And that's the example I left for my dad today, who is one of my helpers. Now, let's jump into the uh, last break real quick. Ready? And yeah, go. Here we go. UB40 with Kingston Town, Q103. It is your root station, Shaggy, here, uh, getting ready to check out for the day. I hope you had a good neighborly day hanging out on the show with us. And if you haven't done so yet, whip out the old cardigan sweater, okay? Uh, today's show was all about neighbors and neighborhoods and knowing your neighbors. Well, I like to say hi to my neighbors. To uh, my neighbor on the front side, Mr. Love. Absolutely love the gift that you gave me and my fiance last night. And of course, every day waking up and hearing you singing in the garden, it's great. I love my neighbors. Of course, the neighbor on the other side, Les, and the neighbor on the other side, Pat. Well, good morning, neighbors. If you haven't done so, today would be a good day to get to know your neighbors, so don't waste any time. Go out and say hello to them. And yeah, maybe you'll learn something great from it. Uh, if you'd like to share your memories of your communities and neighborhoods, do that on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Q103Hawaii. Workday kickoff is coming up next. Your root station, Q103. Till tomorrow, love you, mean it, and in by. Mr. Rogers always had a way of signing off the show, too, with his songs about neighborhoods. You know? Uh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. And it was kind of a, a neat little story and a neat little song. So today, if you haven't done so yet, embrace a little bit of your McFeely. Okay, Fred McFeely Rogers. And go out and say hello to your neighbors. Who knows? You might even learn something new that you never knew before. That's what communities are good for. Growing people, right? All right. See you tomorrow. Want to see more QLS3? Check out our Q blog on our website. For extended artist interviews, behind the scenes videos, and more. And more. Log on to QL3Maui.com today. The rhythm of the island. Q103.